I quit my job. This summer, my wife was offered a job in California. It was a big career step for her, but it would have meant leaving New York, leaving the place that's been our our personal and professional home for uh, about a decade. It's where my career has uh, began and has really flourished. This year has been so amazing for me in terms of being able to work with the Vox and Netflix team on Mind Explained or working with HBO, working with a and I've been able to do so many amazing things and part of that is because I've been here in New York. But this year has also been really, really challenging for me. It's been really stressful to have all of this going on and trying to make cool, creative, fun, engaging, interesting, entertaining mental health content for all of you while also having my day job where I am um, treating mental illness, where I am practicing as a clinical psychologist, treating anxiety, treating depression, all of that sort of stuff. That job was asking more and more of me. And to do this right, I needed to invest more than I was actually able to do. The other part of this past year that's been so stressful is as my daughter is getting older, she needs more. She needs more from us. She's able to do more, wants to explore more, has a lot more energy, which is amazing. And it's really hard because it's just been my wife and I, and that's it. We have no family in New York at all. We actually have like no family anywhere close by us, like on the East Coast. This idea of moving to California, it came at a time where we were really torn about our future in New York. So I did what I do, which is go through all of these different skills that I do with my own patients. I did a skill from dialectical behavior therapy, DBT, called a pro-con sheet, where I made a list of all the pros for staying in New York and the cons of staying in New York, the pros of moving to California, the cons of moving to California. I kind of highlighted a few big things which then made me struggle with indecision and what to do with these different things. So I then called up a friend of mine, Dr. Kara Sitapani, who has practices as a psychologist in New York and also practice in California. I, I don't know what the future is going to be like and how I'm going to fe- feel in the future, but what I can do is talk to someone who's living in that future. This is something I talk to my patients all about. So I did that. I talked to Dr. Setapani. Hey, Ali. Hey, Kara. How's it going? So if you were me, what would you do? Well, <laughs> you know, I can't tell you what to do. Right. <laughs> I think getting clear oh. about what's important to you right now at yeah. this time in your life and then just figuring out how much of the things that are holding me back are probably more just fears and insecurities than, mm. uh, you know, actually things that I wouldn't be able to overcome. So then I did a value clarification. Sometimes I do this with my patients by asking them to imagine their 100th birthday and who's there and what stories are they sharing about you. A lot of times that can kind of yield out what are the values, but a faster way to do that is do a uh, personal values card sort. I really like this version because it's free. You can just download it online and follow the instructions. Um, I'll post a link in the description so you can do that yourself. And when I did that clarification of what my values are right now, I realized they changed since the last time I'd done this. The values that came up for me, number one, family. Number two, contribution, giving back. That's why I like to do uh, the psych show. Number three, growth. Number four, health. And number five, creativity. And when I looked honestly at those values, it became really clear that this meant I need to leave my job and it meant we need to move to California. It would bring us closer to our family. Um, My daughter would have cousins and uncles and aunts and grandparents in her life. Moving to California also meant 
that it would be a complete career reboot for me. I could go full time in sharing everything I know with all of you and making a contribution to the world and that this would force me to grow as a content creator. And I also knew moving to California would probably be better for my health. It is really hard to live in New York City and to carry everything with you up and down subway stairs and I was experiencing so much back pain taking my daughter in her stroller, carrying the stroller down two, three flights of stairs. So we moved. And here I am, my new set, in California, doing this now full time. I'm gonna launch lots of new content. And the first thing I'm gonna launch is a call-in show. I want to break down all the barriers that exist in mental health. I want to break out of all the secrecy in how this stuff works. I want to talk directly to you. So if you have questions about psychology, about mental health, about careers in this field, about all of that sort of stuff, or like just like my take on uh, a movie or a TV show or something like that, I've got a link in the description to this thing, which... I don't know how you're hearing. Maybe you're hearing it on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or maybe even in the podcast version, which I'm launching. Fill out the form at that link. That will get you into the queue where every week I'm going to be randomly selecting people, giving them a call, and we're going to do a call-in show. You're going to be on live with me. Uh, Well, not live. I'll record it and then edit it so it's more concise and then kind of release it. I want to give away everything I know. I want to challenge myself. I want to grow, I want to make a contribution to the world, and let's get started.